on. If you connect with me, then you can send me a picture of your animal. We are not exclusive here. We pull in everybody. And here's the proof in the pudding, folks. Today we have a fluffle of bunnies. Look. Oh, oh I got Angel. Oh, Wait a minute. What? Hold on. Can I? This is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Where's this your bunnies? A, Come on. We a, wanted bunnies. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> I think we should get a break. All right, pull it together. <laughs> so for context, folks, uh, Chuck has been bragging about bunnies that he wanted to share, and he has been working really hard on a bunny picture. And just to let you know what happened, Angel was our last time that we had it, and poor little Angel is adorable, but we can't seem to find the bunnies. So just getting you caught up to speed at home, this is what's happened. We've oh, dissolved boy. into laughter. And we will get this oh, train back on the tracks for oh. our next story. Chuck, All right, we're, set. we're expecting boon bunnies. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, happening now. Oh, boy. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Nope. Trisha. I can do it. I can do it. All right. Holidays are done. Yep. Weather is cold and gloomy. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on how to break those winter blues. Completely pushes out by 6, 7 in the morning Monday, leaving us with dry conditions for the first six or next several hours across MLK Day. All day long, it's looking like a pretty nice day now. Parts of this bill are similar to the executive orders that have already been put in place in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Story. Welcome back. What's better than celebrating 100 years of life? Hmm, how about 200? Wow, yeah. I can't even imagine. <laughs> That's the case of these twin <laughs> sisters from Italy, Francesca and Maria. They oh. hit the mark on Monday. 50 grandchildren and great-grandchildren joined them for a 200 cake along with the local mayor. I wish you could see Julian's face right now. Francesca says that she didn't imagine living this long, calling it a gift from the Lord. That certainly is a gift from above. Uh, 200 right? years with your but, twin sister. Wait, I know. No, they're, not, they're not 200 years old each. They're each 100, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys. What? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, okay. Did you really think they were each? No, they're each a hundred. I, so I, I was like, what? No, I can't believe you guys. Our were director like is just as confused okay, as okay. we were. Okay, now I understand. But y'all, like, how did y'all not get that? Okay, but we didn't get that. Okay, just, now we understand. Both a hundred. I think the <laughs> oldest person is only like a hundred and twenty-eight. <laughs> but can I just say, I living to a hundred, both of them. That's pretty amazing. The cake is amazing. And they're so cute. <laughs> Me and Julia can't talk anymore. And it says Kayla. My name okay. is Kayla today, too. Liz, take it away. <laughs> I, yeah. Take it away, Liz. Weather. Weather. We'll, we'll trust me with the numbers, not them. Yeah. Don't trust us with the numbers. Why? <laughs> Look <laughs> I'm sorry to anyone. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> Broadway Plaza this morning. We got a few flakes flying. Right now it's 724, and it's time to get a look at traffic. Let's go ahead and check it. Well, it was Michael McIntyre at the radio station. Michael, we're laughing about something that happened in the last break. But how are those roads looking? Man, we got to think we get serious about safety. You know, every morning I feel like I'm missing a party with you guys, especially when you guys are just breaking out laughter. Apparently I'm in the wrong building, but nonetheless. You can get there right now by scanning this QR code on your fart smartphone. TDOC, TDOC, employees Debbie Inglis and Kelly Young are off the job. They got the news last month. The governor's office says they were let go 
because of the findings in the report. Now, the report showed TDOC failed to require testing on injection drugs under its own rules. My eyes are up here, along with other issues. Former Washington Capitals coach Bruce Boudreau has been fired by the Vancouver Can Canucks. The team announced the change Sunday, less than a week after president of hockey operations Jim Rutherford said major surgery was needed to fix the Canucks. Rick Tuchet was hired as Bedrew's replacement. Well, Bradley, this morning I had to defrost my car for about 10 minutes. I luckily didn't have to scrape. I used the, like, I can't think of what it's called, the liquid stuff that shoots out from your, the front of your car. Right. So, uh, I... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> windshield wiper fluid. Thank you. Uh, yes. But I... I, I in a hurry, usually in the morning. So I did go out and scrape, but luckily it wasn't a whole lot, so it kind of brushed off real easy. Now, it started off as a, as a lockdown hobby, but a series of father and son TikTok hip-hop videos have gone viral, making a 75-year-old man, a lollipop man from Oldbury, an internet sensation. Brian Kilgallen dances on the social media platform with his 28-year-old son and dresses up for his postings. The two have amassed, wait for it, 84 million views. And as he told a reporter, Lindsay Doyle, they count Beyonce and Jay-Z among their fans. Uh, respect, Brian. And of course, when I said Jay-Z, you know I meant Jay-Z, because I am seriously down with the kids. Of course, usually I hear I'm on Monday after a game with five things to know, but there was no game yesterday. And frankly, there's really only one thing to know this week. It is win and you're in, or lose and you go home. If the Titans can win Saturday night in Jacksonville, they'll win the AFC South for a third consecutive season and make the playoffs for a four straight year. And if they can do all that, they would erase much of the pain and disappointment from here in the second half of the season. Okay, I guess we're having a few difficulties, so we will be right back after this. While this is the highest, excuse me, highest starting salary for an MISD superintendent, Murray says it's not the highest superintendent pay ever. Previous superintendent Dr. Angelica Ramsey's pay was bumped to over $300,000 after her first eval when she exceeded her expected performance metrics. Josh, thanks. It's still the first week of January, but it might not be too late to be in the giving season. CBS 7's Jair Brooks Davis joins us now, Jair, to tell us how we can give this weekend. That's right. This upcoming weekend leader, uh, DJK leaders, Sean Carrasco has plans to help multiple families, including Maurice Rogers's family. We were taking a live look, or we were, over Moosehead Lake. Um, <laughs> that was, <laughs> Luke got too excited to come back to us. <laughs> oh God, I love oh my, my job. God. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just to show you all what it looks like. It's no... <laughs> It's snowy outside, and you know, that's all we have to say about that. <laughs> oh gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> and now, back to you, Aaron Myler. <laughs> Me? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm very confident this morning. Chloe has the giggles, apparently. It's going great. Yeah. We're back together finally. First weekend though. of the new year. It's uh, exciting. Doesn't it feel like I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mood I'm changed. Just go to the 180 weather. right there. <laughs> all right. Of course, it's January. We should expect snow. Snow, and if it is going to snow, we might as well have some fun. We have this giant snow pile in our parking lot, and it honestly it was a little more daunting to climb than I thought it would be. And I brought my sled, so we're gonna try to go down this thing. It's very steep and very bumpy, so I actually don't know the best way to do it, but maybe we'll come over here. And uh, unfortunately for the kids, we have a lot of two hour delays, but not a whole lot of cancellations, so you can't maybe make the most out of a snow day like this but try to do it have fun we still have some light snow coming down so uh we'll see how this goes it's very steep here we go welcome back everybody it is uh, 638 now and Tuesday morning we're starting out with a little bit of cloud cover so this is your fair warning that within the next hour as the sun comes up I bet we're gonna have a pretty sunrise so let's talk about temps if you are gonna go out and try to view this sunrise this morning we have 20s and 30s on the map we're at turn uh, tw <laughs> I just 
was more 34 and 25. I was like, 24. Okay. I'm cracking myself up this morning. It's 34 at the air. Stop. 34. <laughs> it's cold. Uh, later today. 34? Irma Gersh. Irma Gersh is 34. <laughs> Guys, go! I can't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. Um, boy, I went off the rails fast. It was probably exactly what I needed. I don't think I would have ever done the work. <laughs> People say that I'm all the time. Putting in the work. I'm putting in the work. I think on myself in the way that I had to do the work on myself to really try to figure out what next. What's next for Channing? Our staff has some ideas on that. Play for the Raiders. Um, I'm <laughs> next. <laughs> no, no. I'm next. No, I'll, I'll step up for you, Jenny. I'm, I'm just Claudine. Claudine. Says Claudine. Waiting. Wow, <laughs> producer Claudine. Very good. Hi. Excellent. There's the button. There's the button. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. All right, oh, enough, Claudine. Claudine wow. we, we call that a top line. Yes. We debated that all morning as to what Zaddy. Zaddy. Now, remind yeah. us what Zaddy is. I'm not here. quite sure what Zaddy means, but uh, I it's, think it's like hip dad. It's hip like, dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Really cool. Claudine, nope. tell us. Sexy man. Oh, sexy man. But it oh, has nothing to do. Sexy daddy man. Yeah. <laughs> sexy daddy. Producer Claudine. It's a sexy daddy man. Producer Claudine, who's seeking her own zaddy, is explaining <laughs> this to the Okay, here. zaddy. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. They got some stuff going on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't do this. Uh. <laughs> I'm really uh, okay. Deep <laughs> breaths. This, this is Ryan's fault. <laughs> Just a little bit of snow. <laughs> Just gonna go over here. Just can do that. <laughs> okay. Thursday, there's gonna be some. I keep. I'm. Ah. <sighs> Thursday rain turns to snow and then it's done. And 37 with some clouds and a few showers, and 32. You're never gonna know what this is about. That's <laughs> oh god. Breathe. Seven. Days. I can't go 30 more seconds. 37, 43, 41. And back to chance of snow on Friday, perhaps a little bit of rain. Okay. I'm in pain. All right. Uh, now into some serious topics. So here's the catch. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, like we, all, we want to be honest with you. I left my weather clicker over in the other department. It's okay. I want my uh, guy, Octavio. Come here. Octavio. Octavio, come back. Come back. I want you to point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click the button so you point it out on what's happening here for us for today, okay? So there's the rainfall coming in out of the other way, out of the north. And uh, now, now it's just more clouds, increasing clouds throughout the region. Look at the temperatures that we've been at. 39 degrees. Um, Vanna, you can come. Yeah, you don't have to go too far away from there, Vanna. Um, 59 for normal. Now, we're going to run below normal by 10 degrees. Look at that. Right now, 41, good air quality. We're great, great to point that out. Uh, but here's where we're going to go hour by hour. Temperatures staying uh, running into uh, the valley floor in the 40s. Now, we might, some models say 50s. I'm going to keep us at 49 for temperatures over the next couple of days. <laughs> uh, this is where we're currently sitting now. This is why I believe we're going to likely end up with uh, snow in our mountain areas. Near freezing in those spots in the Bakersfield area will end in the upper 40s for the South Valley, 49 or everybody else in the 50s, 20% chance of showers. 30% chance of light rainfall here in the mountain areas, but snow flurries are likely starting already in Glenville. Alta Sierra, you're next. And then our desert areas in the 50s. Very windy here. Don't be blown away by, like, especially like our guy, Octavi, who's been filling in. There he goes.